Soon, $16 billion of the Trillion Dollar Infrastructure and Jobs Act will be up for grabs for ports and waterways across the country. That's why Congressman Juan Vargas and Scott Peters stood in front of the docks at Pepper Park in National City to announce their plan to bring in as much of that money as they can to make improvements to the port of San Diego. The bipartisan infrastructure law is going to make an important impact right here in this district. The surge of goods moving through our, our outdated infrastructure is causing a strain on our ports and slowing the global supply chain. They plan to focus that money on reducing pollution that comes from the port and affects residents in Barrio Logan and National City, where most of the cancer and asthma causing particulates come from diesel fuel, according to the county's Air Pollution Control District. Vargas says a barge system to transport goods is also being looked at as a way to take trucks out of local streets. If you live in Barrio Logan, if you live here in National City, you really care because your health depends on this. In other words, we have to make these port um, terminals much cleaner. And that's what this money allows us to do. Peter says one project they will seek funds for will be shore power systems that ships can plug into. These plugs allow vessels, including cruise ships, to turn off their diesel generators. That's if you sit, you see ships sitting in port that aren't plugged in, they're running diesel motors all, all, all the time, day and night, to make sure that they have power. Shore power systems dramatically reduce pollution that hurts our port side communities. The bipartisan infrastructure law is a game changer. National City Mayor Alejandra Sotelo Solis says projects like these are important and there are more in the works, including tracking where diesel trucks drive and emit harmful pollutants in order to make precise investments. These dollars are, are great, but this is exactly where it goes and who it will impact. The plan will help modernize and clean up the port that generates almost $10 billion and one out of every 30 jobs to the county's economy. They expect to get at least $100 million. The port is a, a great financial feature for this county and this community. It produces a lot of money. We just want it to be fair in the sense of not creating so much harm also in the sense of pollution. Kitty Alvarado, KPBS News.